Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to do some nails on myself today. I'm going to be doing some, yeah, well it's going to be gel polish, it's going to be acrylics, but it's going to be gel polish and I want to use some transfer foil. Kind of summery vibe going on. Um, quick update, so I've just done my courses, my Udemy courses that I have are actually selling really well. Um, so I, I have, well, I've got the acrylic course on there, um, which sells really, really good. I think it's because it's, I'm pretty sure it's the cheapest one on there. Um, you know, not everybody can afford to buy courses and things like that. So I have, I have done it for the cheapest as possible, really. Um, so you can go ahead and look at that. I will link them all in at this, um, in the description box in this video. So that's the acrylic one. I done a new one and added that on there yesterday and it got uploaded today. Um, Udemy has to verify it and approve it and things like that. Now the one that I uploaded yesterday um, is a full cover jelly tip course. Now a lot of people don't really know what full cover jelly tips are because they're kind they're kind of new they're, they they haven't been out that long really so they're full cover tips nails full covers so they go right up to your cuticle um they're made out of gel they're really good that that I won't say they're really good for your nails but jelly tips or acrylics jelly tips are much better for your nails um so I've done a course on those they they last as long as you you know prep and look after your nails properly they can last the same as acrylics they grow out like acrylics um so if you want to know how to do full cover jelly tips you know it's the same prep you're using dehydrator and primer and things like that then go and check that out because that was uploaded today um i'm pretty sure that's the only i'm the first person to do a course on udemy for full cover jelly tips nobody else has got them on udemy i checked i checked loads of different words full cover de jelly tips i checked for press on nails um all sorts and nobody's got them so if you are interested in doing that course go and check it out really 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 simple it's really easy um so that's three and i've just so that's two courses sorry and i've just finished uploading another one which is just a little bit of a nail art gel polish nail art course um I will insert a picture for you on screen um, and you can see what ones I've done on there. So um, that one's not going to be too expensive. I I can't remember what I put the price at, but I might um, change the price anyway and just lower it down a little bit. Um, I think because you guys use a lot of my links to go on to Udemy to buy the course, um, I don't, because it's an affiliate link, I don't get much for it. So if I put a course for £30, I will only get £5 for it because you've used my affiliate link. Um, and then obviously Udemy has to take a little bit of a percentage of that, but I don't mind only getting £5. These courses were made nice and cheap for you guys, for people that can't afford to spend like £100 on courses and things like that. So um, keep using my affiliate link guys, I don't mind how much I get at all, um, this course was to help you lot out. So yeah, we're going to do some nails on this hand today. I'm not attempting to use my non-dominant hand which is this one because it's too difficult but stay tuned. Okay so I've got my tips ready, let's get these on. I'm, I fancy, I put this one on already, this is just a full cover tip, <clears throat> full cover jelly tip. Well, I just fancy some cute little short nails, which I never do. I never do really short nails, so I'm going to have a practice today and see how well I can do it. Because whenever I do short nails, I always end up putting too much acrylic on because I'm used to doing quite long nails. <clears throat> so we're going to give it a bit of a practice today, really. That one. Oops. My Shein order should be here tomorrow, so I will be doing an unboxing of that. One thing I know I did order from there is 
a ring light. It was five pound. So I'm hoping that is decent quality, but it doesn't matter if it's not, I don't mind wasting five pound for a ring light. And that's the only thing I can remember ordering. I haven't gone back and checked my orders because I kind of want it to be a little bit of a surprise when it comes tomorrow. But yeah, I haven't actually got a clue of what else I ordered from there. I don't, th I don't think it was a big order, to be honest. I don't really think I needed a big order. It was just some bits. But as soon as it comes tomorrow, I will be doing an unboxing. And maybe a testing of whatever came. Sorry, I've got an itchy back. I've got my fan on, and whenever my fan's on, it blows my hair. And it goes on my back, and I always think there's a spider on me. Let's pop this one on. I have got two layers of base coat on just to keep my nails protected. So I'll probably do a practice with the Shein stuff that comes tomorrow when I do the unboxing. I'll probably practice it on my um, hand dolly just there. I'll probably use that tomorrow. So that's my nails on. Already done that one. So let's pop this glue away before I drop anything on here and it starts to smoke. Right, so let's get to filing. So how's everybody doing? What have you all been up to? So actually, first let me cut them down. I've got my pool out ready. I filled it up yesterday. So I can have a bit of a chilled week because it is going to be hot. Oh, that is short for me. But I want to give these a go, so get off. Out there, maybe a little bit shorter, I think. Yeah. Okay, those are on. Let's move that out of the way. Now we can file. Um, yeah, so I've got my put my my swimming pool out. It is only a little one. Because it is only for me just to sit in, really, just to keep cool. I do not do well in hot weather. I really don't. I can't cope with it. I get really, really overheated and I do start to get really hot. And my heart starts to pound really fast just from where I'm overheated. So I filled that up yesterday. Sorry guys, I literally have no idea where we got to. So, tips are on. I, I had to do something quickly. Filed those ones. It's going to keep filing this one. Okay, let's get all that dust off. Right, so monomer. Don't think I've got anything in there, so we'll just use Max Adhesion. Nail nails. Little bits of glitter in the bottom of there, but never mind. Right. So I'm not going to go in with a clear layer or anything like that. I'm just going to go straight in. I'm just going to use one, one of these. Um, one colour, I mean, of acrylics. Because we're doing gel polish, which I never do gel polish on, on acrylics. So we're doing some colourful gel polish. We're going to do some transfer foil, like flowers. Summer, summer nails. Okay, so what do I need? My brush, that would help. Get my brush wet. Okay, so I'll do this one first. Now, you don't want a lot. I'm trying to give you guys advice, but honestly, 
whenever I do kind of short nails is not they never turn out that well they, well they do it's just they end up quite chunky because I, I'm so used to doing quite longish nails I just I end up putting too much acrylic on short I mean they're not that short I mean this they're, they're probably completely the wrong length to each other the little fingers short <laughs> Okay, that should do fine. So we can file, so that's dry. You'll know that it's dry because it makes a tapping sound. So I'm gonna go under the nail, bring it down gently without cutting yourself. And then I'm gonna go up the nail to give that side wall make it more refined again You have to you can't you have to be so careful how much acrylic you put on. Right, let's dust them off. Get rid of all that dust. I'm just gonna give them a wipe over. <sighs> just making sure all that dust is off. No, it's still low. It just always gets stuck in the nooks and crannies. Okay, I mean there is still dust on there but that's as much as I'm going to be able to get off because it's like right inside that cuticle. Let's bring you in closer. Okay, got some hairs on there now. <sighs> right, okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to, I want this one to have a little bit of transfer foil on there. So I'm going to go in and paint it. I mean, I've never really put transfer foil on short nails before. Especially ones with a design, like the ones what I'm going to be using is um it's got flowers on <gasps> sorry i actually genuinely had something on my back then had to get it off um yeah the one the, the gel polish the not gel polish 
the transfer foil that I'm going to be using does have flowers on. Um, so I don't know if this nail is going to be big enough. Maybe I should have done them a bit longer. It should be okay. Just have to have like one flower on there, but I wanted a bit more than that. Don't ask me where these little hairs come from. So I'm going to have to do sec two, two coats on this nail. But I'll do that off camera. I'm sure you guys, guys don't need to see me do that. But I'm going to use this nice pretty blue as well. On this one. Might even try a little bit of an ombre. Never ombre gel polish before. I, I haven't got an ombre brush so I know what people use. I don't have one of those. So, um, yeah, it might, it will go two ways. Really good and I'm like, oh, okay, I can do it. Or it's going to go really, 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 really terrible. But that's a good thing with gel polish, isn't it? You can just wipe it straight off and just start over. Okay. So that's those two on. I mean, this one does look like it's got a few lines in there. Which really, really does my head in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do what I just said. An ombre on this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. But I'm going to use, people use brushes, don't they? So I'm just going to use just something like that. I don't know if that's going to be any good. Or actually, I won't, I will use this just to sort of blend it together. Don't think I've done a gel polish, one, uh, ombre gel polish before anyway. If I have, I need to know how I did it and try and remember. hair on there. I don't know if this is right. I mean, I have no idea. It's not, I don't watch like courses for gel polish courses or anything like that. Um, courses, sorry. Um, tutorials. Because it's not very often I will do gel polish. And then I'm just going to grab this and see if we can just bring it down the nail, which isn't working. Well, it's going down the nail, but I think it's going too far down the nail, isn't it? Maybe I just need to keep going. Is that right? You keep going? Yeah, it doesn't actually look too bad to be honest, but I definitely need some more. Oh, too much. Some more of this. I think it probably looked better the first time actually. Definitely, yeah. It really did look better the first time. I've put too much on now. Oh no, I should have cured it and then done it. Yeah, so let me just take this off. I'm actually going to do it quite thin. That's, that, that's, I think that might be the knack to it, is doing it thin. Turn that round, actually, and just do it that side. I think as well, it's because this yellow obviously isn't... It's complete. Well, it's, I know it's a different colour to the blue, but... Right, so I'm just going to do it from here. And then swipe it down. It's 
Definitely looked a lot better the first time. Okay, let's have a look. Well, that's not too bad, actually, is it? I, I'm, for my first time, really, I'm quite impressed with that. This one I'm going to do all yellow. Obviously they all need two coats, which I am going to be doing, but I will do that offline. So I've got a bit of a mess on that side. So, um, offline? Offline. Um, yeah, I will do that off camera. So I'm just going to cure these. Cured. So they've had two coats on and they've been cured. Um, I will do transfer four first because it's my nightmare absolutely hate oh no that's a top coat that is not gonna work uh mccart nail art foil glue so i'm just gonna go probably just gonna do it all over if i can doesn't usually ever go all over the nail the transfer foil i mean which is really frustrating when it does that if i'm honest it's like it wants to choose where it wants to adhere to just going to make sure this is really spread out. Okay, cure that for one minute. So it's cured. So I'm going to go straight in with this. Um, like that. And straight away I have a wrinkle. Do you know what? I'm just going to just, I'm just going to do my best. gonna do my best that's all I can do oh. I don't mind if it doesn't go all over the actually I do mind if it don't go if it doesn't go all over the nail but you know we just do what we can don't we really Ugh. get off <laughs> half a flower out of all of that that I put on there I get half a flower. Now, how do I know? See, I've lost... Right, okay, so it obviously went like that, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. So half a flower is going to have to do. I mean, you can definitely tell it's a flower. Kind of. It'll be okay. So I'm not going to top coat it just yet because I want to do other stuff. So what I'm going to do on this little... Actually, let's do it on this, this one first. So I want a yellow. And I'm going to... That's probably a bit too much, actually. Do some swiggly, well, one swiggle line. I am definitely gonna have to do. Do I need a second coat or do we think this is good enough? Let me just go over it a little bit more just to make sure. This is where I should cure it. But am I? No, I'm not. Okay, so I want to do that. Now I'm going to cure this one because I want to do another one next to it and sugar it. So I'm going to cure this. No, I'm not. What I'm going to do is I want to do the same on the thumb. So I'll do that after. So while that one's curing, let me just put a top coat over this. 
The top coat really does make the nails come to life, doesn't it? Really does. Don't forget to cap that free edge. Okay, so now I will cure these. Cute. So I'm gonna go back in with yellow again. And we're not gonna cure it because I'm gonna do a sugar nail. So I don't, I'm, do I want, oh yeah, let's have it up here. I don't want it too close. But I kind of want it the same pattern, like that. And now I'm gonna chuck, I mean, this is still sticky, so it might not have been a good idea. Wait there, done that wrong. <laughs> I need to wipe the sticky layer off from the other, from that bit first. And now we can, because I don't want that sugar, sugar dust to stick to everything. So let's go back in again. Just hope that I can kind of get it the same. Okay, so now where's my sugar dust? So I've got shorts on and every time I keep getting up and down, I'm ripping my legs off of my leather chair. It's painful. Okay, let's put this all over there. That should definitely be enough. Now I'm going to go in and cure that. So that's cured. So where's my duster? And let's take a look. I mean, I've got dust in the cuticles a little bit. What do you think? They look cute. Yeah, they do. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna do the same as that one. That one I'm just gonna leave yellow. So this one, I will do yellow this time. Let's get painting. This is just a full cover, full cover tip. Yeah. That's what I get for rushing. Yeah, my sheen order should definitely be here tomorrow. Um, I tracked it, so. Should definitely be there tomorrow. So I will cure that and I will do a second coat, but I'll do it off camera. So that one's done while well, it's been cured. I'm gonna do this one a bit different to that though. So I'm gonna actually get my palette just to make it a bit easier. Okay. So I've got my palette, my clean meat brush out because it's got yellow paint on there. So what I'm going to do, oh my gosh, it's going to be hard. I know the look that I'm going for, I just know it's not going to really work. You see what I mean? I can never get this side. I mean, it's probably better for me to do it upside down. That way, yeah, you can definitely see the difference. So why why is this one different? What I'm doing is I'm just doing this so I can paint it. Okay, I'm gonna have to use the actual brush. I'm gonna be here forever otherwise. Yeah, I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to chuck some of that sugar dust on top. Might have to just clean it up in a second as best as I can. I've not done this before. I'm probably not even using the right stuff to do it. I mean, it does look really bad, doesn't it? Oh, oh dear. Um, okay. I might just... Do you know what, I'm just gonna do it up here. That one. Okay. 
on that one and hope that that is now going to be God, straight. Probably not. This is a full cover tip, so I can never get close to that cuticle because, uh, you know, I, I have bad thumbs. So I'm just going to go in with the dust and we're just going to see what it looks like. I'm hoping when the dust's on there, it might look better than what it does right now. I don't know why I don't ever dip it in. That's probably not the best thing to do. So I am just going to go and cure it and it is what it is. So I've dusted it off and that's what it looks like. I mean, ugly, but it'll be all right. So that's what they look like. I mean, it has got more thicker in certain places, but I think that's where I pushed it in the, um, where is it? Where I just rammed it in there. I pushed the gel polish up, which I shouldn't have done, but it's okay. But this is what they look like. So I'm going to go in now with the top coat for this one because we haven't done that. And this one. Okay, cure these and it will be the finished look which is pretty obvious, you know, it's not going to make much difference. And that's what they look like. I mean, I, I love the colours. I love the, I love what I tried to do. If the thumb wasn't there, I'd like them. I mean, they're not long enough for me. I'm not, I'm not really a short nail person. I prefer longer nails, especially with a design because they just look better. But yeah, that's what they look like. But I will leave all my Udemy courses and things like that um, in the description box so you can go and check those out if you want to please subscribe would love it if you did it really 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 does help my channel out I'm slowly growing which I'm really really thankful for especially for all my new subscribers and for the current ones that have stayed and liked all my content but yeah so tomorrow's video will be the unboxing of the Shein thanks guys Bye.